Hey everybody, this is Dylan Reich for Fingerstyle 360, and in this issue I'm talking about ninth chords. Uh, these are really, really beautiful chords. I use them a lot. Uh, I use them all over the place, really. And I find they're a great way of adding some extra tension, sophistication, and a little bit of extra interest to your playing, whilst still being very pretty and very consonant, and not too out there like some crazy altered, you know, chords and like really challenging intervals to, to listen to. These, uh, these sound very, uh, they can sound jazzy, they can be right at home in, in just top 40 music and country, you'll hear it all the time, you know, things like that, you know. Uh, so you, you can take like, even like I just played that G, C, and D, and if I just add a ninth to each of them, so basically turn them into add nine chords, C add 9, D add 9. Right, you can still hear it sounds very, very quote unquote natural and normal. And you can still hear the function of each of those triads, but we've sort of uh, spiced it up a little bit. And it doesn't sound too crazy. So, uh, what, I, what I'm focusing on in this lesson is I'm not talking about any altered ninths, uh, altered chords. Uh, these are all either G, like I'll use G as a, an example. So I'm going to use add nine, which is just a major triad with a ninth. G major nine, which is a major seventh chord with a ninth. G nine, which is G dominant seventh with a ninth. Or perhaps G minor 9, which is G minor 7th, with that same 9th. Or G minor add 9, which is just a G minor triad with that same 9th. So I'm talking about all the things we can do with this natural 9th on top of, you know, regular triads and 7th chords that we play all the time. Uh, so the piece of music I've written uh, this month is called All You Need Are Ninths, and I, I tried to write only using these, these ninth chords, and lots of different voicings uh, all over the place. Uh, I've included the chord shapes into the notation. Um, I find that you probably get more use out of seeing these chord shapes in some sort of musical context than if I just gave you a big list of you know, 25 different ninth shapes. Uh, so you can hear these chords in action and hopefully start to incorporate some of them in your own playing, uh, the ones you like, you know. So uh, let's check it out. All you need are ninths. Here we go. There you go. <laughs> Lots of great, uh, great stuff with these ninth chords. Now, I, I will say that I'm a very thumb-based um, player. I use my thumb a lot for a lot of these chord voicings. Uh, you 
don't have to for a lot of them. I mean, you could do this if that's more natural for you. You might be able to... But uh, there are some shapes, like this one here, where there's just no way of being able to do it uh, without an extra digit. So uh, I know some people don't really like using their thumb and they, it's kind of unnatural or something, but uh, I would say give it a shot. Um, or you can sort of uh, maybe alter these, these chord voicings to, to suit. But uh, personally, I like it because, you know, there's some things that you just can't play with, uh, without the extra digit. But there you go, ninth chords. Uh, give it a shot, play the piece, um, and start messing around with it. See if you can come up with your own music uh, using these chords and, and hearing this sound and internalizing that because it's something really beautiful you can use uh, in your own arrangements, in your own compositions. And like I said at the beginning, it's very versatile. You can write, you can use this in a pop song, in a country song, or it can sound a little more jazzy, like I did at the end of that piece. You can uh, jazz it up a little bit when you start using it in that sort of context. So it's up to you. Very versatile, awesome chords. I love them, and uh, I hope you get some use out of them too. And I'll catch you next issue. Thanks for watching. <laughs>